Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're doing well, I'm doing fine. So in this video we are going to get started with Copilot for security. I'm going to show you how you can deploy Copilot for security in your tenant. So Copilot for security got announced I think about two weeks ago at the start of April. And this is your go-to AI for everything Microsoft security related. It's an intelligent AI which you can use using a chat GPT-like interface or embedded within the products. So that sounds nice, right? So let's head over to my tenant. I'm going to show you how we can deploy this thing. So welcome to the Azure portal of my tenant. This is the place where we can configure the Copilot for security uh, capacity. So if I search for Copilot over here in the search bar, there is a service called Microsoft Copilot for security compute capacities. And this is the place where I can configure my Copilot capacity, basically the billing of my Copilot. I can create one over here. Let's create a new uh, resource group for it. With UC for S, Copilot for Security 01. It's a nice name. Uh, capacity name C for S01. Prompt location. I would like to have this in Europe. And I only want one security compute unit per hour. Uh, this is a quite expensive uh, estimate over here, but we can delete our capacity within an hour, so it costs us only $4. So if I click acknowledge, I click review and create, the validation process kicks in. And let's wait a minute for this to complete. I can click on create over here. This will now initialize my deployment. So the deployment is in, uh, in progress right now. It's already done. I can go to my resource. And here it is. Quite nice. And we can delete this thing as soon as we're done with Copilot. So if you just want to test, you can deploy a capacity for let's say one, two, three hours. After you're done with testing, you can delete this one. So once we're done deploying our Copilot for security compute instance reservation, it's time to configure our Copilot. So if we go over to my desktop, if you go to securitycopilot.microsoft.com, uh, you will end up in this page. We can click on get started over here. This will now set up my tenant. It might take a couple of, uh, of minutes for it to complete. I need to select my uh, capacity over here. And here you'll find the capacity that I've just deployed uh, in my Azure environment. So it's now setting up Copilot. Data will be stored in Europe. It's perfect. Here I can uh, enable a couple of things to uh, help Microsoft improve Copilot. I will leave this uh, on right now. If I now click on continue, you'll see who has uh, access to this uh, thing. We have owners, the global administrator and the security administrator. And we have contributors that can access Copilot, which is everyone at this moment. I'll leave this, let's go. So here is the, uh, the summarization. Let's click on finish for it to, to uh, complete. So here it is, our Copilot instance. And here I can configure my whole thing. I can see the usage monitoring. We can see that we have one unit per hour, which is really nice. Okay, as with every Azure vlog, let's now get a good cup of coffee and I'll show you some cool prompts for Copilot for security.
that was a great cup of coffee. So now that we have Copilot deployed, let's quickly talk about the things where we can use Copilot for. So I think one of the first things that most of the users are going to do is use human language and generate KQL queries. So we can ask Copilot with human language to get a certain piece of data and Copilot is able to process that text, create a KQL query for us and eventually also execute it against Microsoft Sentinel or Microsoft Defender. There's also a lot of knowledge in Copilot. So we can use Copilot to ask questions about authentication, about FIDO keys, about certain types of, uh, of malware. Copilot for security knows a lot and is specialized in security. So don't hesitate to ask your security questions to Copilot. Another thing where Copilot for security stands out is the analyzing or reverse engineering of scripts. Uh, you can enter a script to Copilot and Copilot is perfectly capable of explaining what's happening over there. And I will show you that in a minute. There is also a connection with Defender TI, Defender Threat Intelligence. And that allows you to ask questions about indicators of compromise, CVEs, attacker groups, and Copilot is able to get answers for you based on the Defender TI data. Copilot also is your helping hand when it goes on incident summarization. So imagine you have to start working on quite a complex incident. You can start by asking Copilot for a quick summary and it explains what happened over there and you can get up to speed quite fast. And last but not least, Let's integrate all the stuff that, uh, that I told you earlier, incident enrichment. Copilot knows a lot of security, Copilot can reverse engineer scripts, it has connections to uh, threat intel feeds, so you can use it to enrich your incident with a lot of information uh, that you otherwise should find somewhere else on the internet. Quite nice. So let's start with our first uh, prompt. I can click new session over here and I will ask summarize the recent threat intelligence. I will submit this prompt and we will see what Copilot will return to us. Let's wait a minute for it to complete. And here we have the, uh, the highlights, articles, I think this is uh, so cool, it can, uh, can be from a lot of help. Okay, so let's do another prompt. I will put it in over here and then explain to you what I have just asked to co-pilot. So I found a file with the following content, is it safe? And the content that I uh, added over here is actually the web shell that was found during the Hafnium attack on one of the uh, exchange servers uh, a while ago. So let's see how it is uh, processing this prompt and uh, what the result will be. All right, so Copilot uh, just finished it, uh, its prompt. And as you can see, it is really nice explaining us what is happening over there. And it gives us the advice, this is unsafe uh, with a lot of information uh, uh, further on it. So this is really cool. Copilot just uh, explained a piece of script, a web shell uh, to us. So in this video, you saw how we can deploy a Copilot for security uh, compute capacity and you saw how we can enroll Copilot for security on our tenant. It's quite easy, it's not that, uh, that hard of a, of a job. Um, so let me quickly show you one thing. If you're just like me and you want to test it on your testing environment, 
you probably want, don't want to have the bill of uh, almost $3,000 uh, a month. So let's switch over to my desktop. Let's go back to the, uh, the Azure resource uh, group that we have created, the uh, Copilot for Security uh, resource group, and I will delete this uh, resource over here. I need to type delete over here. And that will delete my copilot for security capacity and will make sure that it only costed me a couple of dollars instead of the uh, whole month of usage. So that is uh, really nice. Keep in mind that Microsoft, I believe it was about 90 days, keeps history of our uh, uh, chats with copilot. So um, if you're not re-enabling copilot within that time, they are probably gone. So I hope you like this video. I will do a lot more videos about the copilot for security in the near future. You only saw the standalone experience right now. There's a lot of more to see, for example, in the security.microsoft.com uh, portal, um, where there is a lot of co-pilot stuff. So if you want to see more, subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh.